Hey guys, so today I'm doing the TMI tag as you can see above and I'm really excited about it. Um, I have done a tag like this before as the 50 questions tag um, or get to know me tag about a year ago and uh, a lot of things are really a year and a half ago and a lot of things have changed since then and one of my subscribers and friend Danny told me to um, that she wanted to see me do the the tag again and since this one is just like pretty much the exact same just a few di differences um, I want to go ahead and do that for you guys and I thought it'd be really fun so anyways I do want to uh, note I mean you probably can't tell with my background now this is the only background that I still have in the house we me and Garrett just bought our first house and we're doing closing we were supposed to do closing in a week Th some things happened or whatever but we are first time home buyers and we also are doing daily vlogs on Christine GS Life. So if you want to go check it out, we do daily vlogs on there. But anyways, let's get to the tag. So the first question is, what are you wearing? So I'm wearing this like oversized striped t-shirt. It's really comfortable. I got it from Francesca's, Francesca's collection. It's just really breezy and fun. I'm not wearing any jewelry except for my wedding ring. And then... Hmm, I'm in like a spirally chair. Oh, this is a uh, turn. Okay. Boyfriend jeans. Yay. <laughs> okay. Well, okay. Oh, I'm like, Grandma, i got to get down from here. Oh, jeez. Okay. So, this is actually my day off, so that's why I'm wearing this. But um, I'm doing a bunch of errands and whatnot. We actually are going to go do the appraisal on the new house as well as... Um, Oh, look and make sure like repairs are done. But anyways, there's a lot more information about the house and our journey and everything like that um, over on my vlog channel. So definitely go check it out. And so the second question is, have you ever been in love? Yes, I've only been in love once. I've been in lust quite a few times and usually with boy bands when I was little. But me and Garrett met when I was 14. We started talking when I was 13, met when I was 14, and I've been in love ever since with the same person. So that's pretty cool. Have you ever had a terrible breakup? Yes, and it was with Garrett. Me and him were engaged for two years, fresh into college. So freshman, sophomore year, we were engaged. And we broke up. Our, we put off the engagement. A few months later, we broke up for eight months, got back together, moved in together, got married. So, so he was my terrible breakup, but um, I was able to continue with the relationship but it completely changed after that so it was a horrible horrible breakup I didn't know what was going <sighs> I'm so out of breath I don't know why maybe it's because it's the first time I curled my hair in a long time I haven't curled in a while anyways how tall are you I am five six and a half and yes that half counts I swear I'm five seven but Garrett's like no you're like five five I'm like hell and Garrett's my husband if you watch my daily vlogs you'll know that but yeah how much do you weigh Really? Um, enough? Any tattoos? Yes, I have this tattoo. If you can see it on my wrist, it means forever and always. Um, our, me and Garrett's sophomore year in college, we got matching tattoos. His is like twice the size on his wrist, same spot. And it just means forever and always. And no, it's not after Taylor Swift. So many people, after she came out with that song, we had it like three years before she came out with that song. And everyone's like, did you get that because Taylor Swift? It's like, no, we actually should do a copyright because we came up with that any piercings. I do have my ears pierced which I rarely ever wear um, earrings. If I do I wear studs and I had my belly button pierced whenever I turned 15 and as of three years ago I got rid of it because it hurt and I had actually had a lot of a really bad experience with my belly button piercing. It got so infected and um, a barbell like pushed on it and it like pushed down and bled a lot. It was just a really really bad experience. OTP I don't know what that means. Skip. Um, favorite show? My favorite shows right now, um, me and Gary got rid of cable and I've been like all over Hulu. And so right now it is New Girl, The Mindy Project. Um, I love watching The Chew. That one's really good as well. Um, favorite bands? I'm going to have to pass on that because I don't really have a favorite band. My favorite singers are Colby Calais and Jason Mraz. Something I miss. I miss Garrett. Me and him are just so like strange because he just left for work a few hours ago and this is my day off and I miss him. I like having days off with him so we can hang out so I miss Garrett. Favorite song would have to be I Won't Give Up. That's me and Garrett's wedding song and it's by Jason Mraz of course and it's just a beautiful amazing song. As soon as I hear it come on the radio like my heart just like stops for a second and I just 
if I could be having like the worst day ever and that song just instantly like boosts me up and gives me hope in life and makes me realize like the bigger picture and that something that's going on right then is not really you know that big of a deal also outside of like the sappy thing that's gonna be my favorite song for the rest of my life but um today's gonna be the best day of my life that's not the name but I love that song I love the new song rude it just like it's so funny I don't know I just really like it how old are you I am 23 years old and in August I'll be 24 which is insane um I didn't really feel old until I started working at this new place where a lot of the girls are a lot younger than me and I've always been like a little youngin and so it's very strange zodiac sign I'm a Leo quality you look for in a partner it would definitely have to be like uh humor because I love to laugh and if you can't make me laugh then I oddly enough I'm probably not going to hang out with you or talk to you just because I feel like things are so serious in life that you need to have a little bit of humor and I feel like you need humor because laughter is just such a fun positive thing and whenever your partner can make you laugh um, I mean I think I'm pretty freaking hilarious so it kind of evens out but um, when your partner can make you laugh it just makes such a difference in your relationship and it brings that fun happiness into the relationship so I think that is definitely key um, my favorite quote oh my dad actually taught me this when I went up to college and if you don't put it in the right perspective, it can really ruin you, in which it ruined me for like three years straight until actually after I got out of college, so four years, and it's life's a bitch and then you die, and literally, I thought when he told me that, like everything, all my hopes in the world just like poof, plummeted down. I was like, well, shit, that's just not a good way to look at things, you know? Why not life's happy and then you live on somewhere else, like something positive? No, life's a bitch before you die life's a bitch and then you die which is not very positive I'm sorry but that is the only quote that has ever actually stuck with me favorite actor I don't really have one so pass favorite color is green any shade of green except for like true um farmer's green like John Deere green I don't like that green if you're not from the states it's like the purest of the green what you think of when you think green I like mint I like lime green I like olive green but not the other loud music or soft music definitely soft music it drives me nuts whenever I'm driving and people have like the bass going it makes my heart hurt it, I feel like I can't breathe like something's sitting on my chest I get a headache and I've never been like the concert going person where do you go when you're sad usually um the bathroom has always been my place to go whether because I mean there's a bathroom everywhere so if at school whenever I was younger I would get sad I'd run to the bathroom and sit in the stall and just like cry or when I'm home I even go lock myself in the bathroom which is gonna sound so weird but I don't like my dogs to see me when I'm upset and every time I cry I hide so I don't want Garrett to see me cry I don't like anybody to see me cry because it, I just feel embarrassed and I feel out of control and I can't take that so I'm kind of a little bit of a control freak um, in that sense how long does it take you to take a shower so if I'm just like doing my everyday shower like two three minutes but if I'm doing like I need to wash my hair and shave my legs it's probably gonna be like 30 minutes I don't like to sit in the shower for a long time now the bathtub that's another story I can kick back and put on some Hulu or Netflix and watch a whole movie in there I don't care how long does it take you to get ready in the morning I like to say an hour because I like to make sure I have food to eat I like to take my time with my makeup and then usually my hair takes like 15 minutes eating takes cooking and eating takes 15 minutes and my makeup takes like 30 minutes ever been in a physical fight <laughs> no seriously um, I do have a little side of me where I get if someone's like constantly like I, the reason why I don't go to a uh, sporting events there's a hair in my eye um, the reason why I don't go to sporting events is because I don't handle stressful situations like that very well where people are so aggressive and take something so stupid so seriously. Um, there's this one time at the LSU Chick-fil-A Bowl in Atlanta. This uh, Atlanta, Georgia fan was behind me and was just like screaming at us because we were standing even though she was way the fuck up there. Sorry if you don't like cursing. Um, but she just would not stop so at the end I threw um, a pom-pom at her and she was just going to town yelling at me and she flipped me off it was it was just bad um, we never got in a physical fight but we screamed for a while it was interesting so that's not one of my prouder moments it's kind of embarrassing so a turn on I'd have to say a turn on for me is um, 
like in the whole spectrum of things looking at just like a guy is whenever they are sure of themselves but also Garrett he doesn't th realize how gorgeous and handsome he really is he is very reserved and shy about that but he is hilarious like he is so witty so that's a really big turn on for me is whenever a guy is sure of his personality but is not like yeah I'm the hottest guy in the world it, that really set Garrett apart from like all the other guys yes I was 14 but we rekindled our relationship whenever I was the 19 yeah so a uh, turn off would be and I hate to say this too because if you, any of you guys are like with a frat guy I don't want to discriminate or anything but the typical frat guy and the typical trainer I can't stand that and Garrett has never been like a loud obnoxious um asshole he's always very considerate of other people's feelings and so being just a careless asshole just pisses me off so if that makes sense I don't know so the reason I joined YouTube I joined YouTube because whenever I growing up I never knew anything about fashion or beauty and I discovered a few youtubers that I started watching to learn how to do makeup and uh, different fashion things which now there are a lot of youtubers out there that um, actually show you how to dress like trendy and like um to look really really cute. because back then it was just like I guess businesses trying to do it and it just wasn't working but um I wanted to give back and like because there's a lot of things that I watched which I also taught myself while watching the videos and learning what they had to offer and I felt like I learned so much like there was like a period of time um I watched YouTube's YouTube's every single day morning to night for months it was like ridiculous so that's I just like learned and it was just an amazing thing because I never knew about YouTube before like I knew about it just for like stupid videos and that just pisses me off now that people use YouTube like oh look he's gonna jump off the cliff and smash his face into the side of the rock that's so entertaining it's like no use YouTube to learn and um to be like I don't know I just like I just love, fell in love with the idea of it, of being creative, like a creative outlet, and also using it as a way to meet people that are like you, because I didn't have anybody in my life that liked fashion or beauty, or anything that I was interested in, and so that's why I did it. So, any fears? Um, recently, um, after watching, like, I have a fear of being tortured. I've, Garrett, for some reason, likes to watch a lot of movies that have a little bit of torture in it, not because he likes that thing, he just likes scary movies. Um, and I'll just happen to walk in right when the, the torture scene happens, and that is, like, my biggest fear, but also, you know, like, spiders and roaches and that stuff. I'm scared of that as well. Last thing that made you cry? Uh, actually, the very last thing, if I can get this out of my eye, um, would have to be, Rocky, uh, is my oldest dog, and he is seven and a half or eight years old and he's getting older and he's been there with me ever since my freshman year in college and he's been through so much and I just with me and I don't know what I'd do without him and um just thinking about that just really makes me sad and I'm about to cry now but yeah just thinking just the process of thinking about that just really um, messes with my emotions and just makes me realize how precious like even if I'm running out the door and I'm 15 minutes late I can run back and give him a kiss or pet him on the head so that was the last thing that made me cry uh, last time you said you love someone this more actually a few minutes ago me and Garrett were on the, he called me on his break and we always say I love you whenever we hang up and meaning behind your YouTube name well I had a few I had Christine George 21 I had Christine something well Christine's my name first off G was my previous last name a lot of you think it means Garrett but which we'll go with that one we'll we'll pretend that I considered him but I made my YouTube name before me and Garrett got back together so uh, well it was after we got back together but um G my last name used to be George before I got married so it's Christine G and the XOXO is because Christine G was already taken Christine GXO was already taken Christine G num like different numbers behind it was already taken so I just and then um I did Christine G just one XO it was taken on YouTube but it was available everywhere else on other social media platforms so I just went ahead and tagged on the X double XO and then changed all my social media eventually after that last book I read 
This is so sad. I'm pretty sure it's the Twilight series. And that was, yeah, I think that was the last book I read, which is really sad. I usually, the only things that I really read, I like to read a lot of blogs and not just fashion and beauty, but like health blogs and stuff like that. But so, yeah, the Twilight series, that's sad. The book you're currently reading. I am not currently reading a book. I'm currently reading lots and lots of blogs and I like to do a lot of research online if that counts. The last show I watched was actually The Chew. It's actually going on in the background right now. Um, I like to turn it on for the dogs uh, throughout the day so I just have it on in the background. Then last person you talked to was Garrett. He literally called me like 30 minutes ago and yeah the relationship between you and your person you last texted. Who did I last text? Uh, my husband, and he said, what you doing, boo? I said, about the film, how about you? He said, eating meal number uno, and I said, yay. <laughs> what is your favorite food? My favorite food would have to be, um, my guilty pleasure is, like, anything with bread, like pizza or pasta, anything like that, but my favorite food would have to be fruit, like, in the whole scheme of things, I love fruit, and also... I've been obsessed with the omelets lately because I'm kick-ass at making omelets. And if you want to know how to do that, just watch my daily vlog channel. It's on there. Place you want to visit. I would love, love, love to go to Greece. Um, I would love to go to Paris. Just me and Garrett. Me and him both been together. But it was Villa France. It was like right on the water between Spain and Italy. And um, it was beautiful and awesome. We were with this family, but... I think it would just be so, so cool for me and him just to go by ourselves and have like a romantic getaway. But, yeah. And honestly, me and him just want to go on a trip. Like, we went to Disney World recently, but I feel like, like, his parents went to Wyoming. This, they're actually there now, and then my family's in Destin right now, so they're doing family vacations without us, and it's just sad. So, we really just want to go anywhere. Last place you were before coming home, where was I? I was at work. Do you have a crush? Um, I have a crush on my puppy Rocky and Chloe, and I have a big crush on my husband, uh, which is... Uh. Last time you kissed some, somebody is this morning when Garrett left for work. Um, I always give him a kiss. We always make sure that we say I love you when each of us leave, or when we get off the phone with each other, and we always make sure we kiss good night, good morning, and when the other one leaves. Not like it's a chore thing, it's just like habit, and, um, and it's not like it's like, oh, gotta kiss her. It's just... Um, we make sure that each other, each other knows how much we love each other. Um, every chance that we get. Last time you were insulted? Um, probably this morning actually because I was telling Garrett a story about something but he didn't think it was important so he decided to talk over me and start talking about another topic. But it wasn't really like, oh my god I can't believe you did that. I was just kind of like, really? I'm talking here type thing. But... Also, um, and a lot of, I watched a lot of these TMI tags and a lot of people were saying like comments below, but literally comment, like negative comments do not affect me at all. Um, I guess in going into it, I watched so many videos of people saying like, if you want to get into this, make sure you can take it. Or like they would talk about how hurt it, what they were from like comments and stuff. It literally doesn't phase me because you don't know me. Um, uh, some of you do because we talk back and forth and you watch my daily vlogs, so you understand my life, but I only get negative comments on this channel. It's like older videos and it's usually about my acne. And they're like, oh my god, you have so much acne on your face. Don't use the product she has. And it's like, if you watch my other videos, you'd realize that it's hormonal breakouts. And who the hell are you to judge me? Get off my freaking channel. I really don't care. It's just like, why are you even here type thing. So the next question is favorite flavor of sweet. It's really a weird way to say that. Um, I love marshmallows. That's definitely my favorite. What instruments do you play? <laughs> um, I used to play, well I played a guitar for like a minute but it's like behind the camera. I'm trying to figure out if I want to sell it or what I want to do with it. But I played the recorder, that was the beginning of my musical journey. I played saxophone for three years. That's interesting, right? Favorite piece of jewelry? It would have to be really my wedding band. I mean, it's on me like 24-7. My Michael Kors watch, it's the Camille one. And I don't have it on now. I actually don't know where it is. Um, and same with my necklace. I need to go look for those. I think they might be in my purse. But my red envelope necklace that Garrett wear, uh, bought me. He bought the envelope necklace for our six-year anniversary. And the watch for my 21st birthday. Anyways, it was three years ago. So, um, we'll be together two, nine years in August. Oh, that's crazy. 
Um, last sport you played? Mm, I threw a football back and forth with Garrett a few months back. Uh, I kind of quit all of my sports at once. If you um, have seen my Draw My Life video, you know that. But growing up, I danced. I danced for like 13 years. But in between all that, I, let's see, I played soccer for two years. I did band for four years. I did softball for two, one year, did track for three years, um, I did flag football for in college for my sorority, the one semester I was in a sorority. Anyways, um, last song you sang would have to be Rude. Why you gotta be so rude? It makes me happy. I don't know, I think it's funny. Um, favorite chat up line? <laughs> um, I had it just a second ago. What was it? Uh... Oh, I think it's, um, what, well, I have a few, but the first one that I thought of originally was, um, what is a polar bear, what is a polar bear, what is a polar bear good at, and they say what, they say breaking ice, there's that one, I don't even think that's the right one, but there's also the fish stories, like, was the fish this big, and you, like, the person beside you, and you go, or is the fish this big, and you put your arm around him, and the other one is... If you were a pirate, where, which shoulder would you keep your parrot? This shoulder or this shoulder? <laughs> I don't know, that just made me laugh. And yes, I've used those on Garrett quite a few times. Um, oh, that's the second question. Uh, yes, I have. Uh, it says, have you ever used it? Then the next question is, last time you hung out with anyone? Uh, uh, for, my brother graduated on Friday, and so we all hung out for dinner or for lunch. But before that, the day before that was my dad's birthday. We had dinner, like a big party dinner, and then last night I hung out with Garrett. We had pizza, which is probably not the best thing that we could have done, but that's what we did. And then, and who should answer these questions next? Honestly, every single person that's watching this video, I've tagged you to do the. Um, questions if there's a certain question that you just want to answer um, like one two three twenty fifty of them all of them I don't care just leave them in the comments below I'd love to hear and um, I think it just really be, be really fun for me to get to know you a little bit more um, yeah but that's all the questions guys I hope that wasn't too boring but now you know me a little bit so it, I watched went back and watched my get to know me tag and I do feel like this these answers a little bit more Alright guys, that is it for the tag, which that was actually pretty fun to answer. That was a lot of questions, so I do apologize if this video is weirdly long. You know me, I like to do marathon videos. Anyways, I love you guys so, so much. Don't forget to check out my vlog channel down below. Um, that link's down there below. My blog is down there. My lookbook. Um, my Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook. Everything. If you want to just email me personally that's down there too, no matter. But I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you next time. Bye. Long road, guys. And this is the only part of the house that still has, like, anything on it, which I don't know if you can see, but there's nothing on the wall.